Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the uh, last video that I posted uh, for those of you that are returning. I had some people asking if I could post some um, some footage, pictures through my devices. And just to go over my device really quick, uh, this is my RVM14 that I usually have on my right eye when I'm wearing my duels. And it is an Anvis Silver Bullet. It's I guess would be, if I remember right, I think it's around Omni 5 era, so it would meet Omni 5 specs. Yeah, so it is an aviation grade tube. It is very clean. Um, I definitely enjoy using it. That's why I put this one over my right eye. The other one should be an Omni 5 aviation grade tube, but I can't guarantee that because um, it was repotted. So it doesn't have the original housing, so it doesn't have any of the information on the tube. But the other one should be also an aviation grade uh, Anvis tube. Anyway, the optics on this one, uh, I have a Steel Industries objective lens and actually an AliExpress, uh, or however you want to say it, Ali, Ali. Uh, yeah, I have a $100 ocular lens on here. I found out that they are really good balance uh, for the budget. They, they offer a lot of performance for what they cost, and there's very... Um, Really very little negative effects at all to using these, but I did spend a little more in the objective lens. I mean, yeah, I didn't get Carson, Fujinon, Noctis, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is Singapore glass, and based on some, uh, well, not really studies, but just performance comparisons from vendors given the recent optics gate thing, uh, some of them released information showing that like these lenses are basically as good as your US made uh, higher end glass. So. And to be honest, I don't really feel like the ocular lens really affects a whole lot getting these cheap China ones. They're about a hundred bucks a piece, so half to less than half. And uh, that's why I like to use, works good for me. And uh, we're gonna get right into some footage and some pictures here. I'm gonna give you some commentating on them. It is snowing here a lot lately and there's always snow on the ground. So night footage is kind of brighter than it realistically would be uh, for a lot of you if you don't have snow so it's, it's tough to really be like oh you know like you can see so well at night well it's going to be extra bright when there's snow on the ground so i can't change the weather that's just it's going to be what it's going to be but i do have some pictures through my devices when there you know wasn't snow so i'll put some of those in there and i'll, I'll put some commentating on those as well for you guys all right, I do want to apologize formally for this video. I tried to take it when it was snowing, which really just messed with the quality. So don't pay so much attention to how blurry it is. Uh, it's kind of tough to avoid when it's snowing like this. It makes it really tough for my phone to get a good, clear image uh, through the tube. So I'm going to show some pictures and some other video that I have. But this was just me on a snowy night out looking around. Now, obviously, there's like... Full cloud cover, no stars, no moon, nothing. Um, I mean, I am, I'm messing with the iris there. That's why I got darker for a second. Um, and there's obviously some ambient light from the house. Uh, there's me messing around with the iris again. But I'm going to go and give you guys some better videos and pictures to look at. Um, because this really didn't come out how I wanted it to. But I figured I'd throw it in anyway. Kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like when it's snowing because it can be uh, pretty fuzzy and blurry. All right, and then here's a quick video of us out at the park. Um, this was on a late night. There was no moonlight or anything really. It was very dark. And uh, you can see there's some noise, but overall a very clear image, and it was very dark. And here's another good example of a very dark night. Um, there was no moon this night. Clear skies though, uh, but it is extremely dark, very noisy. You can see a lot of static in the image. Uh, but I was actually taking a recording of the northern lights before you could actually see them with the naked eye, and it was pretty cool. So this is a photo through the same device, but you might be thinking that it looks totally different, and that's because uh, I have a LLI purple filter on it. Uh, but this is a, actually a pretty good photo, and I think it gives you a pretty good idea of the image quality. It also uh, shows you how clear these can be, especially when you are using uh, a filter 
they greatly reduce noise. Not that there is that much noise when it's that bright anyway, but still it's a, a pretty good photo and uh, can show you just how good and clear these tubes can be. And this is one I just wanted to throw in for fun. So this was actually on the November supermoon that we had a few months back. As you can see, it is extremely bright and um, borderline unnecessary to have night vision in this scenario. I'm not saying there's not scenarios where you would want it, especially if you have heavy wooded areas where there's a lot of darkness, uh, even with the, uh, you know, the moon being as bright as it was. But I just thought it was a cool one to throw in, and you can see one of my family's tractors sitting out there in the field parked for the night. So, yeah, just kind of a cool one. Thought you guys might find it interesting and want to see what it's like when it's super bright out. It makes your night vision also super bright. Who knew? Hey guys, I just wanted to say really quick, uh, thanks so much for watching. And for those of you that asked about uh, what it looked like through my RVMs, or at least I gave you the look through one of them, the other one is pretty much damn near the same but i hope that answered your questions i appreciate you guys interacting with me uh feel free to ask me more questions and uh, make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel i'm gonna try to post more night vision related stuff here soon and maybe even some gun stuff i went to my first night shoot just recently in the past couple weeks i had a blast i was at garrettsville ohio that was put on uh, by coyote concepts and I am definitely looking forward to going to the next one. Hopefully going to be going to the one here in February. Maybe I can even get some footage. Especially now that I have a uh, one of the camera clip-ons. Or phone clip-ons I should say. That goes on to a night vision monocular. That's actually what the first clip I took. Or that I posted in this video. Where it was really snowy. I used that. And it definitely made it a lot easier to get footage. So that would be cool to get some footage when I go to the next night shoot. And maybe even just doing some night shooting here in the property if I can uh, kind of get a decent setup to do it. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for more stuff from me. Thanks. I'll see you guys later. Bye.